Hey guys, for Shush Trey here, in today's video, I'm going to show you how to set up and activate your iPhone 8 Plus in 2023 if it's your very first time. Now, the previous updated videos, as you've probably seen, are on the older version of iOS. So, this is an iPhone running on the latest iOS 16 version. And if you got this phone, there's a couple things you want to do when you do set it up. So, we'll show you exactly how to do that. So, let's go ahead and start taking it out of the box first. This is the iPhone 8 Plus, as you can see here in my hand. And then also in the phone here, You'll notice here the accessories, the charger cable, but it's important that you open up this package because in this pamphlet package, there is going to be something known as the same ejector tool. Now, if you don't have this or don't have the box, you can also take a paper clip, bend it as well. And the reason why you want to do that is because you want to put your SIM card in if you're using the physical SIM card in, unless you're using eSIM, which you can activate through your carrier. Physical SIM requires you to take that same ejector tool and then you'll see here on the right hand side you'll have this hole and you match up this and then you put your sim ejector tool push it in firmly and take that sim card out like that tray and then you take your sim card from your phone other phone or your carrier gave you and you match up this cut corner right here so I like to just match this cut corner it should sit flush just like that and then once i do that i go ahead and put it inside my phone by lining up the hole pressing it till it's flush just like that and I'm going to turn on the phone. To turn on the iPhone 8 Plus you just simply press and hold the side button right here just like that and you'll see here when you do that once the Apple logo reappears you let go of the button. If you need to charge it make sure you charge it as well sometimes if you're buying a phone and it's been in storage or it doesn't have enough charge it won't turn on so make sure you charge it. So as you can see here I have the hello screen which indicates this is iOS 16 updated version i click on the home button here and then it will get us to this menu and we need to first select our language then select our country or region so you want to select your appropriate country or region and then here you get this quick start menu here now when you get this menu here all you do is simply click on setup manually and now you'll need to connect to a wi-fi or your macbook or computer because it needs internet connection in order to complete this setup process so i'll go ahead and connect to my wi-fi here put in my Wi-Fi password really quick and once I do that I'm simply gonna hit join here and make sure you enter the password correctly or else you'll need to re-enter it again and it will say it will take a few minutes to activate but generally this process is pretty quick we're gonna wait till it gets to the next screen we'll show you how that looks like and while you're doing all this you might already notice uh, your carrier might show up here as you can see if you have an active sim now if you don't have an active sim you need to call your carrier the company that you're getting phone service ensure that the line is active uh, so that you can activate your phone so as you can see it's going through the stuff here which again it says a few minutes to activate but shouldn't really be again a few minutes so let's give it a little bit more time before we get to the next step here and let's keep on waiting here and this is all in real time just to show like the process itself nothing edited or anything as you can see here the next menu i get is data and privacy you can pretty much read through apple's data and privacy but we're just going to hit continue uh, apple touch id you want to set this up in order to do touch id you simply place your finger just like that a few times you want to keep on rotating it around so it can read it so i just let it go and rotate it and it'll take at least probably a couple times and then you need to adjust your grip so I continue and then as you can see here I'll do the grip now and it's all just looking to like adjust your grip so that it can better read your fingerprint so after you have done that it'll say complete it'll hit continue you want to select or enter a passcode you have the option to have the six digit which is the default or do a four digit you can also do custom numeric or alpha numeric or whatever you like so I'm just gonna simply put something really straightforward of course don't make it so simple like this but for our demo purposes here I'm just putting this one and I'll change it later as well so you can see here you'll enter twice and it'll confirm that means the passcode has been set now the next step you get is a data and privacy and this is important if you were moving your data from your iCloud from a previous phone through the iCloud backup you can restore it there you can use your backup if you have on a Mac or PC you can use that step or you can directly transfer it if you have your old phone next to it you can do a transfer as long as both of the phones are up to date of the latest iOS version and or you can move from Android or you can simply not choose to do any data which I'm gonna do here just because 
I'm just looking to set it up. Now, the next thing is entering your Apple ID, which is important in order to use any of Apple services like downloading apps from App Store, using your uh, Apple Pay, iMessage, FaceTime, all of that. So I'm going to go ahead and enter my demo Apple ID pa password here for this account. And I'm going to sign in here. So here, as you'll notice here, I'll sign in here. I'll hit so I'll hit after you do that you'll hit next and once you hit next you'll enter password so for this part I'm just covering up my password by moving it out of the screen but basically you'll need to do that as well to enter your password now you might say well I don't have an Apple ID if it's your very first time owning an Apple product you can simply click on this option where it says don't have an Apple ID and you could create one for free as well so here I'll hit next here now if you have Apple ID existing one sometimes it will ask you to do this verification code which will come up so I'll move it out of the way just so I can put in my verification code and this code that I put in it's going to be pretty much unique to you so you don't have to worry about it again after that well, there you created a new account where you signed into your existing one you'll get this step for terms and condition I'll hit agree here and then it'll say a few minutes to set up your Apple ID which as you can see here it's going through that step right now but again like I said Apple ID is needed and you can also skip that step and sign into your Apple ID if you forgot it or just want to do it later just so you can get through the setup screen here and as you can see here it's still taking a few minutes that's why important that you have a good wi good Wi-Fi connection or cellular connection whenever you're doing this process So again just keep on waiting you do have to be patient as you can see here it's gone through the next step which is basically telling us we can have the phone to automatically update or down or download the update um, whenever we I usually like to hit continue location services you want to activate it if you like so that you can use like maps and things like that so I'll enable here and then Apple Pay if you want to set up Apple Pay right now like you want to add your cards I'll just set up later here but you want to follow through the keychain if you want to store your password and credit card information on the iCloud keychain all up to you I'm simply just not going to do that right now the next step I get is Siri which again Siri is a voice assistant what it will do is if you hit continue here it will ask you to uh, hold the side button like this and then it will ask you to um, give a couple of on the commands and then you get this Siri uh, dictation improvement you can share this recording so that Apple can make it better and then screen time here either way it works you can select to have a weekly report or choose not to either or whatever you choose and then iPhone analytics if you want to share your iPhone analytics so that Apple can improve their product you can select this I generally shoot the not to share but it's up to you and then you want to pick your appearance whether uh, you want a light or dark whatever option you like and hit continue and then standard versus regular zoom it's the zoom preference if you need bigger text and font for easier readability you probably want zoom I'll just go with standard and then you get welcome to iPhone and we're all set up and ready to go as you can see here good to go if you had an active sim card it will show up your phone servers you can start making calls and start texting and start using your phone just like that so that's how simple it is to set up your iPhone 8 plus and if you need to download apps you can go to App Store search up the apps and go ahead and download it for yourself so hopefully you guys found this video helpful if so please make sure to like and subscribe button thanks for watching guys see you guys uh, next time